My name is Yuri Lehtiö. Uh, I'm the sales director of Haloila, the packaging machine manufacturer from Finland, which is part of the Signod Industrial Group. Packaging company by 7,000 employees in over 60 countries. Export business represent over 95% of our businesses. Delivery is to over 70 countries. We are part of the global packaging group, which gives one dimension. However, Haloila was involved to the international business from very beginning during the time company was small size family based company. Today Haloila is the unit in the group employing some 180 people from where approximately 60 is here in Finland. Why is internationalization important nowadays? Uh, markets in Finland in our business are part of the European markets and part of the global markets. There is uh, limited opportunities for growth by acting only in local markets and even doing that the competition is primarily global. So we are part of the global business. Competition environment has also changed and partly driven by the purchasing behavior. What are the main challenges of internationalization? I believe it's a pretty much same for different businesses and for the different market areas, even for local markets. Challenge is to prepare the well, uh, well prepared and clear plan and strategy which area, which segment, whatever is base for the segmentation. Who are our target customers and where they are located? To make sure that the, there is enough resources, skills to implement strategy, or what could be done with the existing resources, which channels to be used with the existing resources. So it's a fairly complex environment. Which characteristics typify an international entrepreneur? I think it's a willingness to, to develop the business and look growth for own business. Open mind, patient, understand honestly own resources and willing to find help and support for the growth. Which advice would you give to an entrepreneur considering internationalization his or her SME? Understand the opportunities as well as a possible well-prepared plan, strategy and act accordingly. With which countries have you cooperated and how would you describe the entrepreneurial culture in other countries? Um, today two-thirds of our business is in Europe and the biggest area outside of the Europe is the US. So, and we are really in B2B business. Culture and the way to do the business is certainly different even in Europe. However, it concerns often practical things like negotiations and decision process. In B2B business, certain drivers are valid everywhere. It's more question how to get into the final phase. In some areas, more pragmatic approach or product-oriented approach works well. In some countries, person rela personal relationship and network plays more important role. What typifies doing business in your home country, here in Finland? Uh, it might be that uh, in Finland we are more fact-based, serious or even modest approach. Here in Finland everything cannot be awesome. But uh, we are all in continuous change, affected by the new trends, different ways to do the business and especially the new generation has absolutely different approach to many things in our businesses. Do you know the intensive training course? Yes, we, we recently participated to the, to the one project which was a very interesting time period and giving the, a lot of new things to our company. Would you advise entrepreneurs to attend it? Absolutely. It's a good opportunity uh, for both parties students and company gather the information, learn something new and it's uh, giving the opportunity to extend the knowledge as well for the students and the company. Thank you. Thank you.